So I'm going to go through a couple of examples on direct and inverse proportion formulas and show you the difference between direct and inverse proportion. So let's have a look at example 1 then. So y is directly proportional to x and when x equals 4, y is equal to 32 and we need to find a formula for y in terms of x. So since y is directly proportional to x this means our formula will take the shape of y equals k multiplied by x. So we just need to now work out the value of k. k is called the constant of proportionality and to find it we substitute the two given values for x and y into this formula. So on our next line we know that y is 32 and we know that x is equal to 4. So we end up with 32 equals k times 4. So if I'm going to work out k, I need to get rid of the times by 4. So the opposite to times by 4 is to divide by 4. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. And this gives me the value of k. So the final step then is to just copy out my formula again. Uh, just change the value of k to 8. So we get y equals 8x. And this is our final answer. So let's move on to example 2. So this time we've got y is inversely proportional to x. And when x equals 5, y equals 9, find a formula for y. So if y is inversely proportional to x, this means our formula will take the shape of y equals k divided by x. So this is the main difference between direct and inverse proportion is when it's inverse proportion you do a divide and when it's direct it's a multiplication. So once we've done this then we just need to substitute in the two numbers in the question to work out the value of k. So when y is equal to 9 we know that x is equal to 5 so we just need to sub these in. So if we're going to figure out, figure out what k is, we need to get rid of the divide by 5. And we can do this by multiplying both sides by 5. So 9 times 5 is 45. And this is our value of k. So we just need to now write down our final answer. So we just need to change the k to 45 at the top. So our final formula is equal to y equals 45 over x. So this is our formula for y in terms of x. Uh, thanks for watching.